Look at you standing there with your sexy ass STG and your your 15 billion carat gold necklace. So smug. Not a care in the world, STG. It solves all your problems. Sniper flanking you from the right. Think again, bitch. The STG is a sniper. But just remember, no matter how comfortable you feel with this seemingly perfect weapon, it may not be today, it may not be tomorrow, but mark my words, you too will soon hear the all too familiar sound. That's you right there, look at your stupid fucking little face. Got absolutely shit on. You know why you got shit on? Because you weren't using the itchy burst, bitch. All these little soy boys running around with their STGs. You think the Itcher Burst cares if you're using an STG? No, it's just gonna fucking run you over that much harder. There's a clear reason why the STG is the first weapon that is unlocked. Because all these little Timmies, you know, with their limited limited game time and their early bedtimes. Because they gotta be at school, you know, the next day. You know, they don't want to level up another gun. They just leveled up the STG and they can't be bothered to move on to what is actually the best weapon in the game, the Itcher Burst. Me and the Itcher Burst are two in the same. We both deliver a mean punch within four bursts. That's all it takes, baby. The Itcher Burst actually takes less time to kill than it does to say STG. The STG was developed by a man named Hugo Schmeiser. I won't be fooled. That's clearly an adult film star name, and I don't care how good of an engineer he is. I'm not about to take his weapon into the battlefield with me. The Itcher Burst was developed in Italy, and even though I've eaten spaghetti my entire life, all it took was seven hours of using this weapon, and now I am fully fluent in Italian. Prendi la merda, bitch. All right, I have to stop before I get too excited here. Let's get into the business. Let's get into the attachments. What makes this weapon so good? And what gives it this shithouse guarantee to absolutely decimate anyone you come across, especially those little STG scrubby boys? Don't pay attention to those attachments. I've, I've completely changed the setup of this gun based on the knowledge I found during this video. So yeah, we're just gonna ignore that. All right, enough with the fancy graphics. I don't got time for this shit. There goes the entire video's budget on that purple flame. Anyways, here's create a class. You launch it up. Your itch is probably going to be level 1 because you have not realized the full potential of this weapon, which is okay because by the end of this video, you certainly will. Uh, so this is what you're going to see minus that gold-ass swag that I got rocking on this itra. So when you first use this weapon with no attachments, you're pretty much using the shitra because this gun is pretty shit. Uh, bare bones with no attachments, no extra help. This gun by itself is going to do 29 points of damage to the limbs, uh, 31 to the lower body, 31 to the upper chest, and 37 damage to the head. For those of you who aren't sweaty math nerds, that means you're going to need to hit all four shots to get a one burst kill, uh, with the exception of you landing two of those shots to the head. Then you will be able to kill in three of those four shots within that burst. As with most guns in this game, but this one especially, you might want to take the hardcore route until you start unlocking some good attachments. I could only last fucking two games trying this bitch with no attachments. I was like, you know what, these, is, these are as good as clips as I'm giving you. I can't, I can't do shit with this gun. Alright, let's start upgrading this bitch. The first attachment you are going to throw on is the vital proficiency. Absolutely no argument there. It's going to increase our area for critical hits. Vital does not work when paired with larger caliber rounds. Thankfully, we don't have to worry about that as the ITRA does not have any bigger calibers that we can throw on it. So now with vital selected, we are going to increase our upper titties damage from 31 points of damage all the way up to 43, which is going to make it now a three shot kill instead of a four shot kill and, and more damage than the actual head, which is pretty, pretty miraculous. Now you just stop right there, mister, because I know what you're going to say. Well, let's let's go bricks. Let's throw on some fucking hollow points on this shit. Let's make this gun real nasty. And you know what? If you do that, you're really not giving yourself any benefit right now because hollow points are only taking the damage from 29 to 31. Those two extra points of damage are not doing anything for us right now in the grand scheme of things. The absolutely no effect. It only takes 100 damage to kill and these two extra points of damage do not decrease any scenario in which we will kill quicker. It, it's absolutely useless at this point. Okay, now things start to get a little bit hairy here as we move on to the next section. We're going to look at the magazines and all the different rounds we can fire. The first two options, you can forget about that. 12 rounds, get the shit out of here. 20 rounds, that's not enough. Maybe if I was playing tactical pacing pussy shit, but I'm going big, I'm going blitz. I need to take out lots of boys and that means I need lots of bullets. So that leaves these two options right here. The Clousers here are somewhat tempting. They give you the 32 rounds with really minimal cons. Those things aren't really going to affect me in the slightest. 
Moving up to the British, the British are coming here with their 32 round mags. While yes I am a fan of good dental hygiene, I may have to go with the British on this one. I'm getting some good juicy pros here with the magazine, but I gotta be careful on the cons. It looks like I'm getting minus one damage, that could be a problem. Well thankfully we're gonna put that bitch to the test. Alright, so this is what we had before with just the vital proficiency, and now we're gonna slap on those British mags, and this is with the results that I received. So you can clearly see that the damage is reduced by about 3 to 4 points uh, minus the head area uh, when you're using the British mags, which isn't too big of a difference. In most situations between these two setups, they will take the same amount of bullets to kill depending on where you hit. In fact, doing some math, you can run the numbers on this bitch and you get two situations in which these two setups differ. The first being one shot to the chest, one shot to the lower body, and one shot to the limbs will kill on the first setup, but it will not kill on this new setup. The second situation being one shot to the chest, one shot, two shots to the limbs will kill on the first setup, but unfortunately not on the second setup. So you do have a little difference there. Pretty minuscule if you ask me. It should be noted that slapping on hollow points will have, once again, no effect on these differences, and once again is, is useless for us up until this point. So yes, I am going to use these British rounds and uh, because they give me some other perks too, the increased fire rate is nice. Uh, we really care about fire rate for this setup and the increased accuracy and recoil is much appreciated as I hate to waste my other attachment slots making up for that. So all in all, I think this is the right move to make. All right, so the last attachment slot we need to take a really in-depth look at is probably the barrel selection. Got all these Italian barrels, the body, that's that's not really gonna do much for us. Get that shit out of here. The Imerito, much the same. But things get interesting here with the Perfetto 140mm Rapida. That is a huge boost to fire rate. Fire rate is going to be essential to this gun's success. But there's another option. Don't blow your load too quick just yet, for we have the body which is going to increase the headshot damage and give us some more control over this weapon. This gun is already easily controllable, I don't really give a shit about that. So let's take a look at what happens with this barrel. Here we can see our previous setup with the Vital and the British Mag attachments, and now we have those attachments combined with this new body barrel. It's clear to see that the extra 4 points of damage to the head is clearly not sufficient enough to lose all of that damage on the rest of the body, which is the larger mass of what you'll be shooting at anyways. This barrel offers absolutely no advantages over reducing the time to kill. In fact, it actually penalizes you when it comes to the limbs, uh, instead of it only requiring 4 shots to kill. Uh, now it's going to require 5 shots to kill. Uh, this can be mitigated with the addition of the hollow point rounds again, but once again, I'm not going to use this barrel because this is pretty shit, so I don't need those hollow points just yet. So let's take that shit off, it's really dragging us into the mud, let's put on the Perfetto. And they call it the Perfetto for a reason, I don't know if any of you speak Italian, but Perfetto is actually Italian for quintessential. And let me tell you, this barrel is quintessential to my shitting on kids ideology, let's take a look here. On the left we've got the Perfetto. You can see you pretty much get to fire off one extra burst uh, in the time it takes the other gun to shoot all eight. So with these attachments, this gun really starts to shine. Uh, we've got the magazine, we've got the barrel, we've got vital, and I've thrown on some incinerary rounds just because hollow point. I really don't have any use for hollow point on this gun, just the way the damage works. Hollow point can be very useful, it's just, it's just not needed for this gun, it just doesn't really do anything. Incinerary is probably going to be the better choice. So these are the four attachments that really define this gun and really uh, give it its ability to be excellent. Uh, but of course we've got like 20 other attachment slots that we need to fill up here. So this is my full setup for this ITRA. All, all inclusive, all attachments ready to go. Uh, there's some pretty obvious ones. Fully loaded, give me max ammo. It's pretty easy to run out of ammo with this bitch. Uh, gotta love the G16 2.5 scope. Not really gonna beat that. I like to use the ITRA MW3 stalker style. I really like to aim down the sights and, and always be prepared. This isn't a gun you run around aimlessly with. You gotta be calculated. And so I like to use the attachments that allow me to uh, speed up my ADS speed and keep things steady and freddy. You know what I'm saying? This stock right here, adjustable, this is this is the money stock right here. This is a really important attachment to use. Um, you get that improved accuracy for the initial shots when firing. It just makes this gun an absolute laser beam as long as you're prepared. You know, you're not running around and getting caught with your pants around your ankles. The one attachment thing you might be a little 
and I still I still struggle with this is either between the recoil booster and the silencer the recoil booster I do like increasing the fire rate for burst weapons but you don't get too much of an increase in the fire rate and the perfetto barrel really does much of that labor for you so you can maybe throw on a silencer you don't need the stabilizer you know what what do we need to stabilize this thing is already a fucking laser beam and it's got range out the ass you don't really need any of that shit so this might be a rare case where you opt to use the silencer. I know silencers aren't too good in this game, but uh, this might be this might be the perfect weapon to try that out. So there you have it, the Itra Burst, designed and laid out the way I see fit. Hopefully you guys agree, but hopefully I've showed you enough information for you to make your own decision if you have some slight adjustments that you would make. There's too many attachments in this game to really tell you which one is for sure the best. And don't even get me started on comparing different weapons. I don't know if that's going to be fucking possible this year. There's just These guns are so unique and creative in their own way. You really have to just compare them against themselves. That really is the only way to do comparisons. But uh, I recommend this gun. You'll have some good fun with it. It's pretty unique. And uh, if you... Of course, if you made it this far, maybe consider giving a like, leave a subscribe, whatever you want to do, piss off, doesn't matter to me. Uh, hopefully I see you guys next time, alright? Thanks for watching, you guys take care.